Hello guys, how are you doing? Today we're gonna talk about The Last Love Poem by Wolf Darwin. So, in The Last Love Poem, we are talking about three anonymous soldiers. So, uh, we have three stanzas, and every stanza will tell us the situation of one of the soldiers. So, we're gonna start with the first stanza. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm hit. He said, and died. Whether he really cursed or prayed, indeed, the bullets chirped in vain, vain, vain. Machine guns chuckled, tut tut, tut tut, and the big gun guffawed. So, in the first stanza, we have one of the cases, one of the three cases, one of the soldiers. So, the first soldier was able to say, just, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm hit. This is a reported speech. This is a reported speech, and you can know that uh, it is between uh, inverted comma so uh, this is a reported speech he was able just to utter these few words before he dies so in the second line whether he barely cursed or prayed indeed we have cursed or prayed which one is cursed or prayed we don't know which one so uh, Rafa Dawan, as a, a religious, he is a religious and he's one of the persons who shares uh, the other soldiers the war. So, uh, Rafa Dawan, he is a religious man and he was uh, adopting, he was adopting the situation. Will we, will we be cursed or prayed? So, that's a question for a religious man. You know that the politicians the majority of the time pushing people to uh, wars to face their death by telling them you will uh, go to defend uh, about your country against the enemies and so on so uh, this is uh, the propaganda if you can call it and so on so the majority of the soldiers don't know if they were cursed or prayed by the end of the war so by facing their death or in the afterlife the balls chirped in vain 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 we have uh, many personifications like the bullets chirped so we have one here that has just change uh, the color and the balls chirped in vain 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 machine guns Cackle, this is the second one, and we have tut 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 tut. So we have the stop consonant here, the sound T, the stop consonant. So that sound refers to death because the stop consonants the normally produce after making uh, after just capturing the air within the mouth and leave it suddenly so uh, the sound T and the sound D or the sound B and T so we need to capture the air for a while in our uh, mouths and then release it suddenly so we'll pronounce sound like the sounds of the guns so this sound refers to death and here we also have and the big gun Get out. So that uh, describes that they began as they were laughing. They began and the guns. They are not dissimilar. So we have many words like uh, chuckled, get out, and these words refer to that uh, to one reality that the guns are happy while the soldiers are sad and afraid, afraid of death. So, uh, we need to put in mind these words give out and uh, chuckle are so much important. So, you will describe the situation of the guns, the situation of the weapons in, uh, in the war. We have the, in the second stanza, we have another side. Oh, mother, mother, dad. Then smile at nothing childlike being dead. 
on the left shrapnel cloud, largely gestured, full, and the splinters spat and tethered. So, we have the second soldier who is mainly boy, who remembers his family. So, he says, Oh, mother, mother died, and it is different from uh, the, the first situation here. We have, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm hit. So that is an old man. So we have here an old man, and here we have a boy. So the situations are different, but the poet wants to refer to one thing that the war evolves many things, like evolves many ages in the society. Can kill uh, the children the old people, the young, and everyone. So, another side, oh, mother, mother, dad, then smiled at nothing, childlike. So now we have uh, some information about the first line that uh, this, the second soldier is Mella boy. So, in the, in the second line, he says, uh, then smiled at nothing, childlike, being dead. He, we are referring to the innocence. So, what is the innocence? He's male boy. He's male boy. He don't know many things about wars. And uh, he's in war, but which is not his suitable place. He said he should be in the school or so on. Or in his family's home. So, he's in war. We have childlike. And here, why? By smiling at nothing, smiling at nothing, by smiling at nothing, we have an ironic question. We have an ironic question. When you are in war, seriously, you will not smile at anything because you are afraid. Okay. So here we have, uh, although he is male boy, but he smiled at nothing and he mocking the war. And childlike, Childlike refers to the innocence, as we said, childlike refers to the innocence. So, uh, being dead, and we have in the third line, as we have here that the innocence can be bring by death. So, after the killing of this second soldier, he started to smile at nothing. He start to smile at nothing. There is nothing can make you smile. But after his death, he start to smile. So uh, as the guns or as the bullets can bring us the innocence, make this boy leave the indignity or the anger of war and going toward the innocence of afterlife. So on the lofty shrapnel cloud. The third line can describe the situation of the war, where, there are, where we have many bullets in the air and the scope, and we have many shell shocks or shells and so on. So, largely just uh, full. That third, uh, that third uh, soldier said full for the bullet, for the bullet. So, he said full for the bullet. Full for the war, full for everything which is uh, available in uh, in the battlefield. So we have in the in the fifth line and the splinter spat and tutor. So we have from uh, the third line until the fifth line just description for the battlefield. So uh, how war is anger. How war is angry during that time, and how war is angry by the power description. So we have in the third stanza another case. It starts with my love, and from this quotation or from uh, these two words between the inverted commas, we can we come close to know that uh, the third person is a young person who has a relationship with a girl so my love 
One moment. Love language seems to smart. Tell us slowly the what? His whole face kissed the mud. And the bayonet's long teeth grinned. Rabbles of shells hooted and groaned. And the gas hissed. So, the third case, or the third soldier, has a darling, has a lover. So, when he hit it, he says, My love. So, and instead of kissing his darling, he kissed the mud. So, his whole face, his whole face kissed the mud. And instead of kissing his darling, he kissed the mud. That can uh, show us how war uh, has no winner. Wars has no winners. The only winner is the guns. The only winner is the bullets. The only winner is the big gun. So, um, this is everything which relates with the, the explanation of uh, this poem. And if you want more, we'll make many videos later. So, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please, if you can, give us like and make a subscription for our channel. We will be very happy. Thank you.